रविवार सात फेब्रवरी दो हजार इक्कीस वी एक्सटेंड वेरी हार्टी वेलकम टू ऑल आर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स दो लिविंग इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज इन दी आसियान कंट्रीज एट ब्यूटिफुल स्टेट्स इन इंडिया एंड टेन ब्यूटिफुल कंट्रीज इन आसियान लेट्स वेलकम दिस आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग द पैंडेमिक एंड ड्यूरिंग द करोना वायरस लास्ट ईयर the whole world has suffered quite a bit and same goes for our children also who could not go to schools colleges universities polytechnics itis and skill centers and couple of other institutions tourism had a lot of uh, backlash with tourism linked hospitality and with that linked aviation with that linked your shopping your retail your media entertainment everything uh, suffered a setback last year however let's move ahead let's see for the bright tomorrow let's see for the bright future how the things are going to be first of february this year that is on 2021 the honorable finance minister of india she announced the budget and in budget there are a lot of announcements different pillars six pillars have been taken but we would be focusing on education with education we will talk about skills and with education and skills we will talk about tourism hospitality airlines media entertainment and of course our focus would be our youth our teachers and our education ecosystem let's start a wonderful journey a hearty welcome to all of us the beautiful northeast part of india our chamber icsi international chamber for service industry extends a very warm welcome to all of you this afternoon and we wish to share in a very polite way that during this entire pandemic corona virus we focused on complimentary free beaming 12 hours every day based on education empowerment trying and reaching every school every college every teacher every student wherever we can world over now these are the six pillars of the union budget 21 22 which has been announced on monday the 1st of february by the honorable finance minister health and well being physical and financial capital and infrastructure has been given a great boost inclusive development of aspirational india and most important pillar number 4 i am talking about reinvigorating human capital thereafter the innovation research and development minimum government and maximum governance okay in this we will be focusing on education sector and when we talk about education sector it's very important for all of us to understand there are some key takeaways in this particular budget 15000 schools to be strengthened by implementing all new education policy components let's recall okay in my chat box let us put whoever gives the first correct answer you get 500 rupees cash prize this afternoon from us let me see who gives the correct answer two components i'm going to ask you the new education policy when we talk about the new education policy on which day it was announced by the honorable prime minister and education minister and second component is how many pages are there of the new education policy which has been put on the that is ministry of hrd earlier now ministry of education let us see who can answer correctly and you get 500 rupees cash prize this afternoon let me also see on my youtube channel those have logged in fine those have not come please tell others also to come and that is going to be now over here you can post your answer you can write over here the new education policy was announced on which particular day and secondly how many pages are there in the new education policy which has been placed on the website of ministry of hrd by the time you send your answer let let me see who sends first so that you get 500 rupees this afternoon okay 15000 schools to be strengthened by implementing and how many schools are there in india 1.5 million 15 lakh school hain so as a pilot project 15000 schools to be strengthened by implementing all new education policy components number 2 100 new sanic schools to be set up in partnership this is something very important when we talk about 
hundred new sanic schools to be set up in partnership with ngos private schools and states this we are deliberating nowadays at uh, length and breadth and we are trying to get maximum inputs practical inputs pragmatic inputs futuristic inputs realistic inputs and that's why we are inviting our defense officers from army navy and air force those have served those have worked with the sanic schools and they are giving their valuable inputs because at this point of time we wish to understand what would be the role of ngo what would be the role of private sector what would be the role of the state how much land how much money how regulatory bodies what courses who will be the students over here how they would be selected so couple of things are coming up and we are developing a blueprint on this at present then very strong recommendation when i talk about northeast 750 eklavya model residential schools to be set up in tribal areas now by and large there is a large population of tribals when we talk about northeast and these children they deserve a holding hand boys and girls and they got to be brought up through these efforts focus on creation of now this is very important when we talk about northeast let's understand this point focus on creation of robust infrastructure facilities for tribal students now what is robust infrastructure that we have to understand is it a physical infrastructure or is it a digital infrastructure because the education has moved on now we should not be spending too much of time on the buildings and infrastructures of that kind physical infrastructures are not required much now we require digital infrastructures which is the future and that's what everybody talks about and we got to go with the wind legislation to be introduced to set up higher education commission of india at present you have got aict you have got ugc you have got aiu you have got national council for teacher education and couple of other verticals are there so all to be combined together in one body that is called higher education commission of india so that's a great step which has to be taken creation for formal umbrella structure to cover all government colleges universities research institutions central university to come up in leh ladakh area realignment of existing national apprenticeship training scheme and finally this point we have added up from our side and we have taken up that is uh, initiatives for partnership with other countries like united united arab emirates and japan in skilling that has to be taken forward because a lot of indians have gone abroad now as far as ua is concerned we all are aware of that lot of people from kerala lot of people from punjab and couple of other places they are at present in ue for various tasks at the same time indian prime minister and japanese prime minister together both of them they have signed mou and they are looking forward to taking the young population from india at the same time i wish to share with all of you this particular last point when we take into consideration world over you have to understand i would request all my teachers and i would request all my youth in the northeast part of india kindly browse and go through some of the latest details where all world over the population is aging where the people are going to be old so they would require a lot of support they would require a lot of help and the younger generation can play very important role whether you talk about nurses you talk about yoga teachers you talk about wellness you talk about paramedical services at the same time subject teacher specific also would be required in different countries then technology is there and then as we move ahead we will talk about couple of other points we will take into consideration now we are talking about pillar number 4 which was mentioned by the honorable finance minister that is reinvigorating human capital now the budget for ministry of education has also been increased if you get into the details you will be able to see and you will be able to find out what exactly is the budget now so that part i would request all of you please go through see it yourself and you will come to know it's listed over here also how the budget allocations have been increased as compared to the last year as far as the budget is concerned now this slide is very important for my northeast 
when i talk about schedule cast and schedule tribes welfare 750 ek love a modern uh, model residential schools to come up in tribal areas government will give the money for that focus on creation of robust infrastructure facilities for the tribal students now this point is also very important which we have to take into consideration now this particular program is coming live on the youtube and you can see it and you can go through you can understand what all is being done for my schedule tribe children okay here is chitra kapoor and here is ringuma i would request chitra kapoor ma'am to inform all youth all students let everybody take a benefit of it because information to be shared with everybody and i would tell ringu mama also kindly pass on to all your friends and everybody let everybody join let everybody come to know because we want this idea to travel okay another very important point with 15000 schools 100 new sanic schools when we are talking about look at these young small kiddies they will be a great future they are today and they are tomorrow they are the one those are future of india india is going to be and rather already if you talk about the youngest nation of the world we have got maximum youngsters in this country and these young boys and girls they have got a lot of responsibility in higher education also when we talk about so this we have already told central university is coming up and higher education when we are talking about there is going to be a commission that's what we talk about now this is the new education policy now ladies and gentlemen on 29th of july 2020 right in the middle of the pandemic there was a new education policy which was announced by the honorable prime minister and honorable education minister and this new education policy when you talk about it, it's a game changer it's a game changer because there is no tight compartments like arts commerce science now it's very important all of us to have to understand that the science child can take one of the art subject and those are studying science they can take arts and arts people can take one of the science subject commerce people can take fashion designing they can take hotel management they can take tourism management whatever is the local region so school education and higher education what game changer it's going to be education is going to be very interesting right from the 6th class onward children will learn coding that is something very important they will go to corporate houses they will go to factories they will go to couple of uh, units of the industry and they will come to know because there should not be a gap between the corporate world and the educational establishment it's a very important uh, you know step which has been taken now welcome to northeast part of india this is a beautiful place which is next to my heart eight beautiful states i started my career from northeast so i owe a lot to the northeast and i respect i love i adore i admire and i've got great 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 respect for northeast part of india it's a beautiful place now when we talk about northeast it has got a cultural diversity and it has got a population approximately 45.5 million that is the last census which was taken and there are over 200 tribes and there are at least 475 ethnic groups speaking almost 400 languages or dialects wow what a beautiful place very colorful very nice very vibrant very positive very happy and very energetic people now our efforts from this particular program every sunday is because this serial or this series or this webinar every sunday you have got a program how to link northeast india with the asean because the geographic geographical boundary when you talk about it has got lot to do for the interaction collaboration exchange for education as well as skills development which can take place between the northeast part of india and the asean now this is something very important which i would like to tell our children boys and girls which are the emerging jobs now post pandemic this slide is important must share with your friends this video which we are having a live telecast now on the youtube that is on gs motivator i would request those are watching kindly share with other brothers and sisters and friends also and like it also because i want now northeast this particular program which comes every sunday at 3 pm should be becoming more and more meaningful energetic and where there is a participation of the younger generation 
boys and girls, teachers, educators, principals, headmasters, everybody from that particular region. Okay, which are the emerging jobs when we talk about? It's a health and wellness and a holistic healing, digital marketing, online digital education, online collaboration tools, e-commerce, agriculture and food processing, animal husbandry, rural, a lot of jobs would be there. The gig economy, when you talk about freelancing, then the blockchain developers, web developers, IT, ITS and digital technology. If you know even basic editing, basic coding, and if you know how to make a small video, how to make a small program, let's take it even if this program is going. If you learn how to do editing of it, how to put a little music into it, um, how to upload it, well, you can make a good money. You can earn a lot. So there are a lot of opportunities depending on what it is your interest, you can pick up the things accordingly. Okay. This slide you have to understand in realistic terms, in a pragmatic terms and in a holistic term, because we believe strongly there has to be a holistic education. Aapki education complete nahi hai. Your education is not complete unless you acquire skills. Ab skill kya hai? Kaushalta. And government is giving a lot of money for that. You must acquire some skill. Whatsoever is your hobby, whatsoever is your passion, whatsoever you like, whatsoever is your interest, pick up some skills. And remember, post-pandemic, two things are very important. One is the soft skill. Another is life skill. Of soft skills, what exactly is soft skills? Chitra Kapoor has made a list uh, almost about 135 to 140 soft skills. We will be starting that program also with you. We will cover up one of these days. I will try uh, maybe next week. If I can work out, I'll, I'll see how it is to be done. But you have to understand that soft skills are very important and life skills, not living skills, life skills. That is important. And some of these soft skills, when you talk about your etiquettes, your manners, your gesture, your body language, your interpersonal skills, and most important skill on this planet, if you want to be successful, that is your communication skill, because it is no more communication. It is connecting. If I'm communicating with you, and if I don't get connected with you, then that communication is not good. That communication is not complete. I have to enter in your vision, in your thought process, in your emotion, so that you understand that, wow, what do I have to do? And you have to answer to yourself, who am I? What am I doing? What can I do? Am I wasting my time? Am I utilizing my time? Can I be a better source? God has sent me over here. I can do wonders on this particular planet. Why am I not doing? Why am I not utilizing my time? That is something very important which you have to understand. Ladies and gentlemen, we all got to understand. All my children, I would like to tell you, you have to understand. God has made all of us different. He has made somebody tall, somebody short, somebody fat, somebody thin, somebody very fair, somebody less fair, somebody having specs, somebody not having specs, somebody not having hair like me and somebody having very long curly hair. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference what you have. Most important is God has made us different, but he has given one thing common to all of us, and that is 24 hours in a day. And whosoever makes optimum use of their 24 hours, they go ahead of us. That is something very important which you have to understand. Whether somebody is watching you or not, whether somebody is seeing you or not, forget about the world, what you enjoy doing, what you are passionate about, what are your hobbies. Turn your passion into your profession. Turn your hobbies into, even if you're spending too much of time on social media and you're all the time on the Facebook, you're on the LinkedIn, you're on the Twitter, you're on the Instagram, you're on the YouTube, no problem, no problem. After some time, once you will come to the, to, to the climax and to the optimum, you yourself will say, it's too much happening. Let me reduce it. But when you are on the social media, can you think of how can you earn money from social media? That is something very important, which every child has to do. There are so many opportunities. There are so many opportunities, so many openings. You got to be creative. You got to be innovative. 
Now, what is entrepreneurship? Idea, lot of people get, but they don't have guts to turn that idea into reality. Unless you do not turn idea into reality, that idea either dies unnatural or natural death. And that idea will curse you. Why did I come to this particular person, useless person? So thereby, if you get good idea, implement it. Don't keep the idea as the idea. That is something very important. So education, skills, and entrepreneurship. Don't think about jobs now. Don't talk about jobs. And I'm telling you, don't aspire to get government jobs. Please, if you want to rise, if you want to grow, I will bring example of one of the girls from Arunachal Pradesh who comes from a rural interiors. And she did her three years bachelor in tourism. And she had gone all the way to Miami. She traveled to a couple of countries. And thereafter, she became an example for everybody that look, anything is possible on this planet. If you're keen, if you're devoted, if you're dedicated, if you're focused and you want to really do something. When you don't get success in your life, what is success? We will talk that also one of these days because when you don't turn your idea into implementation, into reality, that idea remains idea. So education, skills and entrepreneurship. There comes the area of micro, small and medium enterprises. Okay. What are the challenges in education in Northeast part of India? These eight states have got a lot of challenges. What are the challenges? Number one, inadequate physical infrastructure. We require more digital infrastructure now because see, look at the terrain. You have got a mountains, you have got interiors, you have got rigors and rigmarole, zigzags and all that, everything. So physical infrastructure, quality infrastructure, realistic infrastructure, digital infrastructure, futuristic infrastructure that is required in Northeast. It is very important. If we want Northeast education to go up, we require a lot of infrastructure. Okay. Uh, I'm thankful to Neoi Mem also for joining us with Ringuma and kindly share with your friends, kindly share with all others so that more and more people can come in the group and in the fold I, I want, I know it's Sunday afternoon, everybody is relaxing, but uh, what to do? If you want to grow, you have to work a little bit with us. If we are putting in so many slides, so many efforts and all that, because we want each one of you should grow. Lack of good quality industry academia collaboration. Why? Because we require more industries to go to Northeast part of India. We want more infrastructure of the industries to come up over there. When industries will come up over there, you'll find that the academic institution will partner with them and then there'll be a more practical training. Students will be able to go to corporate houses. They will go to the industry. They will interface with them. They'll get practical part of it. So whatsoever education and skills they are acquiring, they will turn into reality and that will turn into their jobs and later if they want to become entrepreneur also. Lack of research facilities the tools which are required, the environment what is required, the holistic uh, kind of a development of the entire infrastructure. So I think research also has to be given a lot of boost. Although in India itself, in totality, research is very weak because the subjects which people are taking, they just want to do PhD without realizing whether this PhD will hold any relevance for somebody or would it be lying in the Almera or maybe in the head of the department. Uh, so that part we have to see. Lack of seamless connectivity. Now, we got to give better connectivity. Efforts are being put in. I learned that from Bangladesh, the efforts are being taken to Tripura and from Tripura, it will be distributed to everybody. So that part is very important. Need more quality training for teachers and youth empowerment program. Frequent programs have to be done. And why not some of the teacher from there should come this side to the mainland of India, or they should go to ASEAN. Teachers can, students can have an exchange program. Now budget announced 15,000 schools. That is in the first phase. And that is under the new education policy. We strongly recommend that maximum schools should come in Northeast region of India. That part is important, which we have to work out. Then 
we have also got announcement in the budget that 100 senior schools to come in ppp mode we strongly recommend at present you have got four schools in four states in northeast if there are eight states we should get in other states also at least to one senior school coming up over there it would help the entire ecosystem of education a lot optimum utilization of technology and social media now this is also very important which we all have to understand whatever existing technology over there and what is proposed it has to be combined and let's make best use of technology in education in northeast part of india now youth empowerment is very very important in entire northeast we got to have local to global and global to local local to local whatever you want to talk about you got to have a psychometric analysis of every child personality enhancement effective communication skills power of positive mindset soft skills which i told you an interpersonal relation social media social media children are already using of the only thing is that has to be linked with some kind of a output msme very important and finally is your life skills what we are talking about yes youth has the power to make a difference now teacher empowerment is also very important all the teacher and this should be for their professional as well as personal growth both areas have to be taken into consideration now teacher got to be empowered and number of programs have to run for that northeast india and asean why don't we work out a strategy that northeast children should get an opportunity to work out with our asean and asean with northeast as far as education part is concerned now northeast india and the asean teacher exchange why can't we have a teachers exchange program i still recall when our chamber had gone and in nehu shillong northeast hill university there was a asean study center which was established over there now i do not know how it is doing because 8th of august 2016 that was established over there and that was under the ministry of external affairs government of india we got to see what development has taken place so far what is the road map ahead but we strongly believe and i strongly feel that the manipur because when we talk about manipur because it's a gateway when you're going to more and you are entering the countries over there in the asean if the manipur university if they take on this asean study center then that would be quite nice and it may be that you can have the study center uh, coming up uh, directly from there only uh, which is existing uh, in shillong or it could be shifted to manipur university or maybe a parallel institute can come up but i personally feel manipur our chamber strongly believes that we should have in manipur university now northeast india's when i talk about northeast their culture the tourism the art craft handicraft heritage oh my god this is a beautiful so why can't we combine with the asean that can also do a lot together which we can work out we had organized uh, through the good offices of uh, ministry of commerce and industry uh, government of india we had a program where we invited all asean countries ambassadors they were with us together in mumbai that's a bollywood city and we had taken the northeast also together and i still recall the um, principal resident commissioner of nagaland what a beautiful uh, presentation he gave colorful clothes he was putting on of nagaland and then uh, from assam we had a very good presentation and assam people uh, they they gave uh, some musical notes also were there in that conference it was a grand success why can't we think of the media entertainment industry radio television theater music films animation artificial intelligence digital there is a lot which can be done now which from the northeast we all can do together now we say incredible india i would say incredible northeast india and when we talk about incredible northeast india ladies and gentlemen do you know that as per the world heritage and the unesco and the united nations what you have got the programs which is given the dances 
the world dances or indian dances which are given in the entire framework northeast manipur dance is the integral part of that when you talk about it that is the way we have to look at arunachal it is gateway to serenity and that is something look at it and i still recall koila movie shooting had taken place over there tawang festival is very important over here besides that you have got couple of beautiful places you have got uh, bandadeva you have got uh, nirjuli naharlagan and itanagar zero and you go to teju and you go to you know bomdila and dirang and silapas and then tawang all the places i would say it's so beautiful and so many festivities and festivals they have got assam discover a different world different world discover assam such a beautiful state such a large area so many of varieties and i still recall when i used to travel right from tinsukia to dinjan dinjan to chabua chabua to dibrugarh dibrugarh to moran moran to shiv sagar shiv sagar to kaziranga kaziranga no jorhat jorhat to kaziranga kaziranga to navgaon and navgaon to despot what a beautiful state it is and so much of bihu wow and uh, right in uh, guwahati you have got every evening that beautiful ship which gives you a journey and you can enjoy the musical evening and you can have a feast on the ship itself now manipur jewel of incredible india whenever i think about manipur world over we all got to realize loktak lake loktak lake is so important floating islands where do you have this kind of a thing and also do remember yesterday only i was reading in the newspapers that the residential schools now will have the name of uh, late subhash chandra bose ji and when we talk about the uh, you know india's freedom and india's freedom struggle and when we talk about people working towards india's independence so subhash chandra bose ji the particular memorial that is at uh, morang when you go over there you can see in manipur when you are going to more right on the way you can see that place and these this is a beautiful state and it has got a lot to offer meghalaya wow when you go over there you talk about shillong you talk about chirapunji garo hills my god god's own you know it's a halfway to heaven and if you remember that clean village and swachh village and swachh bharat village and organic vegetables besides sikkim when you talk about meghalaya has got beautiful places mizoram wow when you talk about bamboo bamboo pickle when you talk about bamboo vegetable and uh, lingpui airport uh, and beautiful state of aizol and when you see this particular place very colorful people very nice people very energetic boys and girls land of the hill people that is for the mizoram when we take on nagaland wow musical people musical all the time dance music singing enjoying full of life you know we had a function with the honorable chief minister recently in dimapur of the united nation that was on the sustainable development goals it was so colorful it was so good so land of festival so you you should recall uh, the hornbill festival i am talking about sikkim small but beautiful when you talk about sikkim it's small but it's beautiful if you're traveling to new jalpaiguri or you're traveling to siliguri or you're taking via darjeeling the route to sikkim or if you're going along with the tista river by a sevak and you're crossing the town and then bagdogra airport you get down and from there you go to sevak and then along the tista you move to the gangtok and namchi and couple of other places so it's a beautiful then tripura visit agartala can you imagine okay there is something very interesting i would like to share with all of you throughout my life i had been thinking all the time that sd burman and rd burman they are from west bengal and they might be from kolkata and ladies and gentlemen i discovered while reading a lot that sd burman ji from tripura what a music he has given 
what a music he has given to bollywood and to grand hits great hits so there's a lot of culture heritage and palaces and i would say and uh, yeah how can i forget beautiful pineapples fresh pineapples which you enjoy over there and of course when you talk about buddhism there's a tremendous kind of uh, sites which are available over there and lot of festivals which takes place over there and uh, when you talk about tawang festival you must visit next tawang festival go over there see it for yourself northeast india handicrafts and northeast uh, handlooms they are also pretty good they are pretty beautiful they are very nice and whenever i personally feel that post pandemic we should take a trip to northeast part of india people should travel they should go there our chamber had been organizing lot of uh, conferences interface interactions with the corporates and everybody and uh, now the guwahati airport is very large very spacious and when you come out of the guwahati airport and very big hotel radisson which you got right over there come to the city you got a taj and you got many other hotels over there so here is a former education minister of arunachal pradesh and ministry of commerce and industry government of india officials and our chamber had organized a main function which was on education and herbal health now i wish to share with all of you in future people will talk now when we are talking about education education has to be taken holistic what is holistic education what is holistic tourism whenever you talk about holistic it means you have to take in totality everything into consideration now it's very important we all should know the maximum green cover the maximum green cover the green belt when you talk about these herbal species these herbal plantation it is available in northeast part of india why can't we focus on that these plant and these species which are available in the northeast i would request all ayurveda colleges those are there in northeast and all experts i still recall uh, when we had organized this particular event uh, in guwahati at radisson we had a special presentation from arunachal pradesh mr tripathi and another respectable lady had come along with from the education department and from the plantation and from the herbal and from the health department and they had given a wonderful presentation to all of us so i wish to share that there is a lot of potential as far as northeast is concerned herbal part so i would request each one of you that let's visit northeast region northeast india northeast indian states eight beautiful states asht lakshmi and post pandemic av bharat dekhe and when we talk about av bharat dekhe you would be happy to know that we are starting our series at 8 pm from tomorrow evening 8 pm from tomorrow evening and if there is a little delay i'll check up with my team then we will start from 16th of february now you would say what is 16th of february 16th of february is basant panchmi now what is basant panchmi ma saraswati like you have got for money ma lakshmi and for warrior you have got ma durga similar way for education you have got ma saraswati and when you talk about ma saraswati then we can start the program on 16th this all depends on the preparation i will check up either we start from tomorrow evening or we start from 16th i would let you know we will inform you we will do the curtain raiser and we are going to start the complete program on tourism and that is going to be education and tourism we'll talk about skills also we'll talk about everything and we will cover up everything whatsoever is available in india and we will take on one subject every day and we are going to cover up how many we are going to cover up 100 topics 100 topics of tourism and that is the way this will be a ready made document for you yeah here is the complete serial you can see what all we are organizing at this point of time 9:30 in the morning every day every day monday to friday you have got india education song bharat ko vishwa guru banna hai then 12:30 you got india tourism song monday to friday 3 to 3:45 technology and innovation in education 
5 p.m. to 5.45, budget this, this, this. And then on Friday, you have got water conservation from Singapore. 6.30 to 7.30, you've got new education policy 2020, teachers and youth empowerment. And 8 to 9.15, let us see Bharat. Ao Bharat Dekhe, this program which we are starting. Okay, Saturday, you have got conference that goes from the morning 9.30 till 4 o'clock. And then the evening, Saturday, you've got Swami Vivekanand for education. Thereafter is Ayurveda, that is for your health. And Saturday evening, you've got NRIs coming from abroad. Yesterday, we had a professor from Sweden, and he talked about Gurukul and today's education. Every Sunday, today is Sunday, you should understand, Sunday, we have got lots of programs for you. We early in the morning start with Srimad Bhagavad Gita, that is from United States. 12.30, we talk about waste to resource management. 3 p.m. now, India, ASEAN, Focus Northeast India. 5 p.m. today, you'll have startups, you'll have stand up, how to start business, how to become entrepreneur. That is micro, small and medium enterprise. 6.30 p.m., Lala Lajpat Rai, because he was the person when Simon Commission had come to India and they had blown the lattes on him and he died of that. Okay. And then at 8 p.m. tonight, you will have a non-resident Indians from America they will be with us. Here is the cell number. Should you wish to send any suggestion, any WhatsApp, you can send. If you want to send an email, website is also listed over here. We are available on the social media as well. You can see us in any point of time. Now, this is the most important slide. You would say how it is important. Yes, it is important. How it is important and why it is important. Let me share. <coughs> oh, we have come to the slide number one. Let me go to the last slide. Let me go to the last slide because from there, yes. And this we have seen. This we have seen. We talked about that. Let's visit. Okay, visit Northeast. Then this is the program. And this is the last one. Why did I, why did I play it? Because I wanted. Oh, dekhi, aapka dimag chal raha hai. So I wanted to show you aapka dimag chal raha hai. Aap samaj nahi rahe hai. Aap amari baat nahi maan rahe, aapka dimag chal raha hai. <laughs> All the youth, I want to share with you that ye jo aapka mastikshme mein chal raha hai. Positive, positive, positive. You're very creative. You're very dynamic. You've got a lot of ideas. Let those ideas come out. Let those ideas move out. So this is the final slide which I was sharing with all of you. Whatsoever human mind can conceive and believe. Remember this statement. This is the most important statement in education which I want to tell everybody in the entire Northeast part of India as well as in the ASEAN region. Whatsoever human mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You've got to conceive an idea. You've got to believe in idea. You can achieve the idea. Let's come together. Let's make education relevant. Education is the base of entire universe. From here, you've got engineers, you've got doctors, you've got politicians, you've got bureaucrats, you've got government officials, you've got private entrepreneurs, you've got educators, you've got principals. Everybody is coming from this base, and that is education. So let's come together for making education relevant. Global confluence of educators. We are getting the experts from the world over in our programs motivators, inspirational speakers, technocrats, because you want to understand technology also, counselors, so that you remain positive, wellness experts, take care of your health, corporate, because you need job, government administrators, because you need policy, and finally, decision maker, you and me, all of us together, we got to take collective decision, how to empower the entire Northeast with ASEAN, the serial, what we are talking about, here is the email ID and here is the number which has been given to you. So with these words, I just close this program. Thank you very much for joining us today. And let's work together. Let's empower the entire Northeast part of India and let's develop the Northeast the best possible way. And just see at the backdrop, right on the top is the logo. Then we have got making education relevant. 
आइए शिक्षा को प्रासंगिक बनाए ग्लोबल कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल टीचर्स एंड यूथ एम्पावरमेंट इट इज लाइव टू यू ऑन दी यूट्यूब जी एस मोटिवेटर and you have got different banks generally you have got sbi in north east but there are other banks also now which has come so we have got knowledge bank you can take knowledge from us empowering young minds very very important we have to empower young minds wherever they are b to b that is back to basics of life you have to understand buniyadi baaton par wapas aana hai life management skills jeevan sanchalan kaushal and follow your passion ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर बात करते हैं मन की बात आप कीजिए मन की उड़ान और जो भी आपके आइडियाज हैं उनको लेकर आइए बाहर लेट अस डेवलप द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया द बेस्ट पॉसिबल वे विद दीज वर्ड्स वी आर साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग